Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Lex Money Crypto. Recently guys, I've been getting a lot of comments asking, should I hold this coin or should I hold this coin? And then you guys in the comment section like to butt heads and you say, this is the best coin. No, this is the best coin. Now in today's video, I'm going to jump into both Quant and ICP and show you the reasons why I'm holding both guys. Crypto can get very cult-like and a lot of people will try to convince you that their coin is better than your coin and you shouldn't hold that coin because it's a shit coin or my coin is way better than yours, it's going to have way more returns. And the truth is, none of us know how high our coins are actually going to go. And that's why over the past two years, I've been spreading my portfolio into our blue chips, into our mid caps and into our low cap gems. And if you want to see what the low cap gems are, then go and check out the Patreon. Now, without further ado, let's jump in to ICP and QNT. All right, ladies and gents, I hope your week is going very well so far. It's Monday. Did you start the week off well? Did you have a good weekend? Let me know what you guys did in the comments below. Now guys, ICP and QNT, they are quite far apart on coin market cap. However, they are both top 100 coins. You will see that ICP has slowly been climbing its way up through the ranks. We're sitting at number 16 at a 5.9 billion, basically a 6 billion dollar market cap with a price of $13. And I saw someone in the comments say, you guys are only jumping on ICP now. Where were you guys at 299? It's pretty much impossible to get a coin at the absolute bear market low unless you do get lucky. But we did get it pretty close to the low. We got it at $4.50, guys. So while a lot of influencers may be jumping on the ICP bandwagon, we've been here for a while, guys. And I did try to warn you, same way I've been warning you with Quant when it was at $80. Now, if we want to scroll down to Quant, guys, you are going to see that we are currently sitting at number 56, only at a $1.4 billion market cap, $117. Now, if you're seeing this market cap and you're not thinking, holy crap, I need to make the most out of that, then I don't know what to tell you. But maybe you just don't understand what Quant is actually solving. So if you don't, let's get into that right now. Now, I always like to show you guys the tweets because some people can word it in a, in a better way than I can. Now, market cap, 1.7 billion, connecting enterprises to blockchains, basically connecting big corporations to Web3. And if you guys truly want to see the development of the blockchain and you want to see crypto get adopted, then big enterprises and corporations will need to adopt crypto for that money flow to come in and for our small fries to make a big bag. Now, with that being said, 2024 could be the year of the blockchain and the year of institutional adoption. Now, if you want to go and read this article in full, I will leave a link in the description. You guys can go read the whole thing for yourself. And we've covered this many, many times over on this channel. I covered Quant so much in the summer when it was $80, guys. And if you're new here, then no worries because we still got some chance. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the differences in a price appreciation that we can be expecting from both Quant and ICP. So make sure you do stay till the end. But the more institutional adoption that does get rolled onto the blockchain through Quant will lead the price of Quant to increase. And again, we're not going to read his article in full, but you can see here he tweeted, as we enter a new year, we put together our predictions for blockchain technology in 2024 at Quant Network. From CBDC adoption to programmable payments to the standardization of blockchain, we predict that this coming year is set to welcome widespread institutional adoption and a new era of maturity in the blockchain. And that is what we need to be seeing from these projects. You don't just invest into these random coins that have no future, no plan, no actual adoption in the real world. And you know on this channel, I'm really big with real world tokenization and real world assets. Guys, Quant are at the forefront of that industry. So you can check out some of the other key trends that will shape the blockchain in 2024 in the latest article. And again, I will leave the link in the description. So you can see that Quant are actually gearing up to be at the forefront of getting all of these Web2 new, or should I say oldies, into Web3 and getting them really using the blockchain. Now, why are we investing in ICP? Obviously, partners is not something that we all just put 100% of our bag into based on their partners. But the partners for ICP in 2024, looking pretty good. We've got some really cool partners in there. They've already got some cool partners on their website and there are going to be a lot more partners 
being added and again at these blockchain conferences you're going to see new partners be announced so you guys keep an eye on twitter keep an eye on the website even google it do your own research to keep up to date with who they are partnering with partners very very small percentage of why i am so bullish on icp but you do have to keep an eye on who they are partnering with are they making good connections the answer to that is yes now we've covered this before guys but it is so important to understand what appeals to developers. If you want new developers coming into Web3 and coming into the blockchain, you need to incentivize them somehow. Now, ICP is not only one of the fastest, cheapest, and most decentralized chains, but it also gives you a 400 gig canister size for your dApps, making it super cheap for memory costs. Um, Solana, Ethereum, and some other big chains as well, they are very slow and they're very expensive. Now ICP allows developers to build things fully on chain without the need of any web two assistance. And that is gonna be game changing for web three and for crypto as a whole. Once these developers do start to flood in, and again, guys, the developer count is still not the highest in crypto. A lot of developers are building on things like Avalanche, on Solana, still on Ethereum as well. They're gonna switch onto it very, very soon, guys. So you wanna be ahead of the crowd and basically ahead of the wave because once that wave of new developers does come in and the ecosystem is flourishing like it will be at the end of this year and into next year it's better to be in than trying to play catch up guys and then lastly icp is just a blockchain for everything you can see here on blockchain battle what all of these other competitors can solve compared to icp quickly comparing the top layer one blockchain networks examining their capacity to host data on chain independently free from dependence on external hosting services such as amazon web service or other third party storage providers aka web2 off chain providers you can see here they can all solve transactions but icp you can create social media messaging apps streaming apps gaming blogging DeFi, layer twos for bitcoin and ethereum email real world assets data storage front end hosting it shouldn't take a lot to convince you when you are seeing how many different issues icp is solving and i've already shown you the social media i've shown you the messaging app in, t in terms of open chat and then, you know, having music streaming, gaming, blogging, DeFi, and, you know, the Bitcoin and ETH layer 2 already as well. It is fantastic. And you compare it to all these other chains, plus it being faster and cheaper, it's pretty much a no-brainer. Now, before we end, you guys probably want to know what are the differences in price appreciation. So I'll jump over to the trading view. And before we do that, if you're not already subscribed, guys, I don't know what you're doing. Go and drop me a subscribe because... I'm trying to make it work for you. So I'll start with Quan and I don't know what chart this is. I had a whole different chart, but <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with it now. Guys, I was giving you entries all of summer. All of this, I was covering it on the channel. And I said to you guys, we're going to go down. We're not going to retouch that 40. But if we can get this 80 to $100 Quan, let's accumulate the hell out of it. And we did. And then we rode a margin trade all the way up to this 140 and then took our profit we've actually come back down to this trend line and we are resuming so while you know i don't put too much weight into trend lines still holding that trend line guys and until it does break down then i'm not going to be waiting for a lower price for quant because we are getting into the latter stages of the bull or bear market should i say i'm pretty sure we're in the early stages of the bull market now you guys let me know in the comments what you think but we've broken out and we traded it perfectly we traded the breakout perfectly and to be honest, I do think $1,000 quant is very achievable with a blow off top at around that $1,600. And what would that mean for price appreciation? You're looking at a 13X, guys. You're looking at a 13X from today's price. If we compared it with our average price on the channel, then you're getting pretty much spot on a 20X. But I know a lot of you guys, you can't go back in time. You can't be getting these lower prices and we may never get these lower prices. So you can deal with a 13X. Now guys, I've seen a lot of people calling for the $1,000 ICP. As you guys know, I think the true top really was around that $180 to $200. Obviously all of this was big fat manipulation. We've said that so many times on this channel. But yeah, I mean, if you look at this, the chart looks fantastic. But then you can actually scroll and, and zoom in and you can see we are super up 
from our lows. We're up like 300%, but that doesn't mean we haven't got a long way to go up. So guys, I'm gonna be aiming for the 1618 with a blow off top at the 4236 at $780. But to the 1618, you are looking at a 23X guys, a 23X. And to be honest, that is quite conservative. In my opinion, you guys can see the potential that ICP has. And with more developers starting to become aware of ICP, you're going to see the ecosystem start to grow, hence have more investors. So a 23X at our lower target. But what about the higher target? You're looking at around a 57 to 60X, guys. And before you guys even say it, there's going to be a lot of you in the comments saying it's not going to have a 50, 60, 70X. What are you talking about, lol? You're only saying that because you're in now. No, I said that's the blow off top. My conservative price is around that 200 to $300, guys. So I'm not going to be holding my entire bag for a $700 ICP, even a $1,000 ICP. While I know a lot of you guys, you're very bullish. You think it's going to be like 500 to 1000 That's fine. But me, I'm trying to play it conservative. I'm actually trying to just put some money in my bank. So I will be getting out a little bit earlier. But and that's it. You guys can let me know if you think I was pretty close. Or if I was just super far off and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, let me know in the comments right now. And again, guys, if you want to make the most out of the next bull run, you can go and check out the Patreon. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, it's been Wheel X Money Crypto. I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.